Hi, it's Katrina. From carved stones that changed history to treasures found frozen in ice, here are 10 mysterious archaeological discoveries from the Viking Age. Number 10. Viking Crucifix In 2016, Denmark's oldest Viking crucifix was found by a metal detector enthusiast named Dennis on the island of Fune. He found the pendant made of gold wire and beads in a seemingly empty field near the village of Onsley. What was so mysterious about this find was that it disproved preconceived theories of when the Vikings converted to Christianity. The pendant is a rare Viking crucifix that archaeologists have dated as coming from the early to mid-900s AD, making it older than Harold Bluetooth's runestone in Yelling. Up until this crucifix was found, the Yelling runestones, which were erected in 956, were thought to be the earliest representation of Jesus on a cross in Denmark. The Yelling stones are massive carved runestones that memorialize generations of a royal family. First, King Gorm raised one in memory of his queen, and then their son, Harold Bluetooth, raised a stone honoring his parents and announcing the power of his dynasty as well as their conversion to Christianity. The stones contain writing and carved images of animals, interlaced patterns, and Christian themes. The carved stones are some of the earliest historical documents in Denmark. However, this new discovery of the cross leads experts to believe that the Vikings converted to Christianity much earlier than previously thought. Number 9. The Great Viking Axe In 2012, archaeologists in Denmark uncovered one of the biggest Viking axes ever found. It was so big that it would have taken two hands to wield it, which suggests it belonged to an extremely strong warrior. The gigantic axe was probably difficult to hold and was more likely to be used to scare the man's enemies. This type of axe, known as a Dane axe, has been called the machine gun of the Viking Age and was feared by people across Europe. The axe was the sole artifact found buried with the remains of the man, suggesting that this person identified himself as a warrior above anything else. The grave was found inside a death house, which is a type of Viking tomb. This particular tomb contained three separate graves. Archaeologists rely on graves like this one to provide important information about how the Vikings lived, and as technology advances, we can only expect to discover more fascinating artifacts that provide us a window to the past. Number 8. Prehistoric Arrow Bonanza In November 2020, a team of archaeologists uncovered 68 arrows spanning 6,000 years on the Langfon Ice Patch in Norway, a well-known ancient Viking hunting ground. This astonishing discovery was a record for any frozen archaeological site. Langfon was a reindeer hunting ground, and aside from the arrows, researchers have found a range of reindeer bones and antlers. Ice tends to preserve frozen artifacts, which is great for archaeologists whose job it is to learn things about the past. However, seasonal ice melts and changes in the ice coverage over time can cause the items to be displaced in the melted water, which means they can often be found far from where they were lost. The newest arrows were the best preserved, whereas the oldest arrows had been damaged a lot from exposure to the weather during seasonal melting over time. The archaeologists are part of a team from the Secret of the Ice Project, which is part of Norway's Glacier Archaeology Program. The program was started after the discovery of a shoe in 2006 that was 3,300 years old, which was much older than the Viking period and has led to many wonderful discoveries of artifacts that have been hidden in the ice for thousands of years. The shoe was found by a local hiker who reported the discovery to the Cultural Heritage Department. The shoe was found sitting next to the ice patch during the summer, alerting researchers to the mysteries that could be preserved in mountain ice patches. The shoe was just the start, and thousands of strange discoveries have been found since as the ice continues to melt. Researchers have also been looking for artifacts in other mountain ice patches around the world, including in Canada's Yukon, the Rockies in the US, and the Alps in Europe. Number 7. Viking Ship Burial Fit for a King A Viking ship unearthed in a flattened grave mound at a site southeast of Oslo could have been the site of a burial of a king, queen, or a powerful lord. Although not much more to look at than a few fragments of rotten wood now, archaeologists have concluded that this ship was an impressive 19 meters long and 5 meters wide. The ship dates back to around 750 to 850 AD and is not far from the Yell Mound, which is the second largest burial mound in Norway. Ship burials were the ultimate expression of wealth, which is what leads archaeologists to think that this burial site would have been for someone of great importance. 
Although the archaeologists have been unable to find any human remains alongside the ship, they have uncovered the bones of a horse or a bull. It looks like the mound that contained the ship was looted a long time ago, maybe even by a rival family. It was common to desecrate each other's graves during that time to make a political statement. Scientists are hoping to look at the other 20 graves nearby and try to build a replica of this burial ship. Number 6. 9th Century Viking Longhouse In June 2020, archaeologists announced that they had discovered a 40-meter longhouse in Iceland. Longhouses were large wooden halls that were used as communal houses during the Viking Age. These large halls could be up to 75 meters long and 6 meters wide and were covered with turf and thatch. Along with this new discovery, archaeologists also unearthed a lavish hoard of treasures, including ornamental beads, rings, and weights, as well as a range of Roman and Middle Eastern silver coins. In addition, the hoard contained a bunch of hack silver, which is literally pieces of silver that have been hacked into bits, cut and bent pieces of silver that the Vikings and other people used as currency. It is thought that the Vikings that would have called this lavish house home would have acquired these goods by trading whale and seal meat as well as animal skins. Upon further investigation, the archaeologists unearthed a mysterious find. Another longhouse was buried between the one that they had excavated. This second longhouse was slightly larger than the younger one on top, and scientists believe that the younger longhouse was built on top of the ruins of the older structure after the Viking community transitioned into a permanent settlement. What was even more fascinating about this second find was that the longhouse dated back to the 9th century, which precedes the time that Vikings were first thought to settle on the island. The discovery of this new longhouse has left researchers questioning what they previously believed about the arrival of Vikings in Iceland, and has left them searching for more artifacts to confirm what's going on. Number 5. Mammon Axe One of the most magnificent discoveries from the Viking Age is the Mammon Axe, an iron and silver axe found in a grave at Mammon in Denmark. In 1868, a farmer was digging in a mound and came upon a grave full of treasures. It is now known as the Mammon Hoard. The deceased man was buried on a bed of cushions in a coffin placed inside a wooden chamber. He was laid to rest in purple and red silk, but it is unclear whether the man was Christian or pagan. It was most likely a member of the court of King Harald Bluetooth. King Harald Bluetooth was king of Denmark and Norway who converted to Christianity and introduced it to his kingdom. You might recognize his initials as the symbol of Bluetooth today. It was a very tumultuous time, right before the year 1000 AD. Warriors of the Viking Age used many different types and sizes of axes. This silver axe definitely belonged to someone of high status, possibly a chieftain. The motifs and intricate carvings can be interpreted as both Christian and pagan. On one side, there is an elaborate tree which could be the Christian tree of life, or the pagan tree Yggdrasil. On the other side, there is a bird, which could be the rooster Gulin Kambi, who will crow to mark the beginning of Ragnarok, or the end of days. However, others see it as a phoenix, which is a Christian symbol that represents rebirth. The style of etchings on the axe are so well done and in such good condition, the style of artwork has come to be called the Mammon style. Another extremely important and mysterious object is the Kamen Casket, also known as the Kamen Shrine. It is one of the few examples of Mammon artwork, although not much is known about it. Dating back to around the year 1000, it was found in Kamen Pomorski, Poland, and is famous for its elaborate artwork with animals and geometric shapes that intertwine along with expanding coils or tendrils. For hundreds of years, it was on display in the Cathedral of St. John in Kamen and held the relics of St. Cordula. She was part of a mysterious cult of the Virgin and one of thousands of virgins led by Saint Ursula. They were all attacked and killed by the invading Huns in Cologne, Germany, where there is now a church and basilica. The original Kamen casket disappeared during World War II, and now all we have left are replicas. These artifacts are some of the few remaining symbols from this time when the Vikings were expanding all over and Christianity and paganism often clashed. Number 4. Viking Trade Route the discovery of another ice patch containing thousands of artifacts has led to the discovery of an old Viking trade route. The artifacts, dating from around 300 to 1500 AD, include broken sleds and tools as well as other traces of daily life that had been literally frozen in time and were exposed only due to the rapid melting of the Lendbreen ice patch. The artifacts found in the Lendbreen ice patch in Norway lie along a mountain pass that would have served as a travel corridor for settlers and farmers as they move between their winter and summer settlements. 
During this journey, they left behind a whole range of items from horseshoes to kitchen tools and clothing garments that would have been covered in snow. Over time, these snow-covered items became entrapped in the ice that now forms the Len Breen Ice Patch and preserved for us to view thousands of years later. The Lost Mountain Pass was a remarkable discovery, even more so because no one knew it existed. From oral history, researchers knew that local people had crossed the mountains through three known passes when they were traveling to or from their summer farms. However, the pass at Len Breen was not known. The finds and structures found hidden in the ice clearly show that it must have once served the same purpose as the other passes, and it only came to light when the ice began to melt. This find has left researchers wondering what other mysteries lie beneath the ice in Norway. Number 3. Viking Sword Archaeologists in central Norway discovered a grave of a Viking warrior who was buried with a full set of weaponry, including an axe, spear, shield, and sword. Archaeologist Astrid Kvisseth became the first person to hold the sword in their hands in over 1,000 years. The burial site, which was discovered at Vinjora in the south of what is now central Norway, is part of a larger burial mound which contained several other graves. What was unusual about this find was that the warrior had been buried with the sword on his left side. This custom is a bit strange because in most of the burial sites found to date, the swords are placed on the right side of the warrior. One theory to explain this is that the Vikings thought that the underworld you go to after death is the mirror image of the upper world. This had led archaeologists to believe that the sword placed on the left of the warrior could signify that the warrior was left-handed. Otherwise, it may have symbolized something a little bit more sinister. Number 2. A Boat Inside a Boat In 2019, a team of researchers from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology unearthed a Viking boat grave that left them puzzled. While boat graves were common during Viking times, there was something particularly unusual about this one. The boat grave contained the remains of a woman who had died at the farm now known as Skeit at Vinjora in central Norway sometime between 850 and 900 AD. She was placed in the boat with a range of objects including two large shell-shaped brooches, jewelry, and a cow head. What was unusual about this find, however, was not the burial of the boat itself, but the fact that the woman's burial boat had been placed inside the boat of another person. When the team excavated the second boat, they found that it contained the body of a man who had been buried with weapons. The team was able to date his burial to sometime in the 8th century, meaning that he died some 100 years before the woman. But no one knows why they were buried together. Experts believe that these people could have been buried to mark the family's ownership of the farm and researchers hope that they will be able to gather some DNA evidence to shed more light on this mysterious find. Number 1. Viking Fortresses In 2014, a team of archaeologists discovered a Viking fortress on the Danish island of Zealand. The newly discovered fortress is large, spanning 165 meters across, and dates back to the 10th century. What is most unusual about this finding is that this new fortress, named Valo Borgring, is the first to be discovered in 60 years, and scientists thought that they had unearthed them all. This fortress and six others found across Denmark and Sweden are known as Trelborg. The discovery of these Trelborgs showed that the Vikings were accomplished architects that were capable of building magnificent fortresses. The Ring Fortress found on Zealand is over 1,000 years old and was believed to have been ordered by King Harald Bluetooth in 980 AD. The fortress had four openings in total, each of which would have been enclosed by wooden gates that were eventually burned down, which presumably occurred during battle. This new finding was made possible thanks to advances in technology. The team of archaeologists used a technique called gradiometry to unearth their finding. This technique takes measurements of the Earth's magnetic field in the soil. Researchers are able to use this information to compare the variations in the magnetic field from location to location to detect where humans have previously altered the Earth, and then they can begin excavation. In 2019, a Danish authority on the island of Zealand gave the green light for the National Museum of Denmark to reconstruct a Viking fortress on one of the original sites. So soon, you'll be able to walk right through one. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite thing about the Vikings? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time!